If you notice from the first two design options in the part one of this video, Big IP LTM is not in the traffic path, and we use either SNAT on Big IP LTM or ACI PBR to ensure both directions of traffic are through the same Big IP LTM. The next two design options are different, which Big IP LTM is in the traffic path based on routing, and with that, neither SNAT nor PBR are required because both directions of traffic will always be forced to go through the same Big IP LTM. One of these two design options is to make Big IP LTM as the default gateway of the real servers. And because Big IP LTM is in the traffic path based on the routing, both incoming and returning traffic will always go through the same Big IP LTM. Some highlights of this design include neither SNAT nor PBR is required. Big IP LTM is the gateway of the real servers. VIP and its real servers gateway must be defined on the same Big IP LTM. This design can be deployed with or without a service graph. Instead of making Big IP LTM as the default gateway, the other design option is to make ACI Fabric as the default gateway of the real servers and insert Big IP LTM inline in the data path by using an other layer 3L for the Big IP LTM internal interface. This design option is usually referred to as VRF sandwich. Since the Big IP LTM is in the traffic path based on routing, both directions of the traffic will flow through the same Big IP LTM and hence neither SNAT nor PBR are required. Here are some of the highlights of this design option. Neither SNAT nor PBR are required. ACI Fabric is the default gateway of the real servers. FIP and its real servers must be part of the same site. This is the traditional verb sandwich design with two verbs, one for internal and one for external. All interverb traffic is steered through the Big IP LTM based on routing, and ACI Fabric internal verb must have a route to the external network via the Big IP LTM. Because Layer 3L cannot be stretched across sites, and Layer 3L for the Big IP LTM internal interface must be defined in each site. To find out more information on the Big IP design options in this video, including detailed traffic flows, design recommendation, etc., please refer to Cisco ACI Multisite Multipod and F5 Big IP Design Guide, a white paper jointly developed by Cisco and F5. Thank you for watching.